six piece bit set of three Phillips and three flatheads. Um, and I've got a bit in here from another set that was already open. But uh, this one, this guy, it's simple. You just lift that, goes in, doesn't come out. You can't force it in if you don't push that up. And then, to turn it on, about three seconds, beeps on. Then the next thing you do is you set your torque limit on it. Hit your set. I want to go to 200. That's loud. Then you hit set again. That's your, that's your torque limit. Now the next thing you want to do is decide if you want uh, peak mode or track mode. And those two modes, one is when you get, I'll show you here in a second, we'll go outside. <clears throat> I've got a little demo set up, but peak mode is where you get to the peak, the, the maximum torque that your hand does, and it'll keep it, it'll store it, it'll show you. And then track, the other mode, it won't do that, it'll flow with you. So if I go up, the torque will read out and it'll go up, and then if I go back, it'll go back down. So it won't, it won't keep up with you. So you've got three things to deal with. Your max torque that you set on here from 60, well, on this particular model, 60 to 600 uh, centimeters, meters. And then you've got to decide if you want peak, where you stop and it'll show you, or track, where it'll go with you. So I think that's it for now. We'll go outside and I'll show you how to use this thing. Okay, so here we are outside playing with our Digitorque. Now, uh, let's see focused on this so this is what I'm going to play with this is <laughs> this is part of a fence and it's in there pretty well so anyway I'm going to turn this on and then let's see I'm going to set it okay I've got it set at 200 so I'm good with that it's real light that's that's not much uh, let's see we'll set we'll go to I'll show you track mode so that'll show up. It comes up like an arrow that's going up and down. Now it's I'm gonna play with this and it's not going to keep my highest torque. I'm gonna do that. It's gonna come back to zero. Let me change that and show you peak and then we'll go back and forth. So turn that off. Oh. Okay. Clear. There. There's 150. Now I'm gonna go up to 200. I'm gonna really well not really crank it, but it'll beep there it goes right on it right on it okay I'll try to go over but the key is to go slow so I can measure accurately there we go 205 it's clear now let's go let's go to track mode here and it won't keep so that's like if you're I don't know if you want to see a variety of torque settings or something like that it's kind of hard to see from upside down but it's moving it's just not going to keep it I wonder if I can do it with my hand no, I'm not sure that. so anyway let's uh, let's try it let's try something way up there let's see if I can get let's go 350 that's there we go set and then I want to have not track I want to get peak so I'm going to hit down and clear Again. So that'll get me in peak mode. Got a step in front of the camera here. Right, going slow to 93. Yeah, 351.7. So yeah, if you need to set some torque, a specific torque, this is the guy to do it with. So anyway, down below I'll. Uh, turn it off is like six seconds, maybe five, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So down below, I'll put a, a little quick formula for converting centinewton meters to foot inches and foot pounds or something like that. But it's basically between these two models, it's 0.22 to 2.22 pounds, or it's 
0.44 to 4.44 pounds. Pretty, you know, that's metric to pound conversion. All right, we'll put uh, some stuff in the bottom there and take a look and have a good day. Thanks.